Hey everyone, and welcome back to another episode of Modeling Minecraft. In this episode, I'm going to show you how you can create a model or texture for an item which changes depending on the durability or damage of an item. So you can see in my hotbar here, I have four different wooden swords, and the um, texture or model will change depending on the durability of, that, of the item. So this feature was added in the 1.9 snapshots. So you're going to need to change your resource packs format to the 1.9 format. Um, so if we go into options, resource packs, um, you can see I have uh, my resource pack here, and this is using the 1.9 um, pack format. Now I just um, created a new resource pack using the 1.9 assets. Um, I showed you how to do that in episode one, it's exactly the same. Uh, but if you want to carry on with your 1.8 resource pack um, and just make it compatible, all you need to do is if we open resource pack folder, you go into your resource pack and open the open the pack.mc meta file and you'll see pack format as one, you need to change it to two and restart Minecraft and it will, it will be compatible. So now we're going to go into the assets, Minecraft, textures, items, scroll right down to the bottom and here I have four different textures for the wooden sword. Um, so I have the um, undamaged variant, I have the slightly damaged variant, um, the third variant which has a damaged hilt and more damage and the fourth one which just looks like a tiny sort of dagger thingy. Um, so the first thing that we need to do after we've created these textures is to actually make models out of them. So we're going to go back to the Minecraft folder, then go into the models folder, and then item, scroll down. Um, so I've done this already, so I'm going to get rid of the ones that I don't need. Um, so you're going to have just a file called wooden sword. Um, so this is the base file for the wooden sword item. So if we copy that um, and rename the copied uh, file to wooden sword one, and we go inside it, we're going to make a model file for the um, textures that we made. So in this case, we need to change the textures for the sort of first layer or the only layer to items slash wood sword one. That's what I called it. So in the um, textures directory slash items slash wood sword one or whatever you named it. Um, so I'm going to exit out of that and we're going to copy that, change it to wooden sword two, change this to wooden wood sword two, and do it again for the last one as well. Um, so you don't have to be textures, you can make actually just whole different models using uh, Cubic or um, Mr. Crayfish's model creator, anything like that. Um, I'm just going to do it for the sort of textures because I think that's what most people um, will intend to use them for unless they're doing some sort of map making. Um, so now we need to go into the original wooden sword model file and we need to set up some what's called overrides. And this specifies to sort of override the um, original um, model file. So this is the original model file. So we're going to go comma and then specify overrides. And then there's a square brackets because it's sort of like an array. Um, and then we need to specify um, some predicate. Um, and this essentially means what to base um, the override on. Um, so it's, it's difficult to sort of explain, but in this tutorial we're going to do um, damage values. Um, there are other sort of predicates or tags or whatever you want to call them, such as time, so you can change a model depending on the time of day. Um, I think there's a few more for shield, there's a new one called blocking, um, things like that. So we'll get into that into another, in another video, uh, but for this video we're just going to stick with uh, the damage. So for damage there's actually two different um, things that you need. You need one called damaged, uh, which is just a boolean, so you want to specify that as one, and you need how much damage, which is just damage, and you need this as a sort of percentage out of the um, 
out of one. So if we want um, the sort of barely damaged model to appear when it's taken um, a quarter damage, then we do 0.25, for example. Um, and then we need to specify the model to use, and that's in the going to be the file paths. That's models slash item slash, and then it was wooden sword one. Um, so let's check that's all right. It looks right. Oh no, yeah, okay. So that looks right. So we're going to save that. Um, then we're going to go back to Minecraft, and we're going to we're going to hold F3 and T at the same time. This will reload the textures. And hopefully, yeah. So you can see now we have the first model. And that only kicks in when the model reaches um, 0.25 damage or, or below. Um, so let's go back into that file. Uh, let's copy this. Let's paste it. Uh, we need a comma there because it's a new sort of value in the array. And we're just going to change that to 0 0.5. Might as well do 0 0.50 just to keep it the same length. Um, 0.2, and then we need a comma. Next line, wood sword 3 as 0.75 damage. So this is how much damage the sword has taken, not how much sort of durability it has left, mm. how much it's actually taken. Um, so this will be the worst, sort of the most damaged um, model. Uh, so we're going to save that again. And then F3 and T at the same time to reload textures. And yep, you can see it's now done all the different models. Um, so that's pretty cool. Um, now obviously you can have more than four models. You can actually have as many different models as the item will allow. So if you press uh, F3 and H to toggle the tooltips, you'll see that it, um, the items now show their name and their durability. So um, wooden swords have a durability of 59. So you can actually have 59 different models for the wooden sword. Um, for other items like the diamond hoe, for example, you can have a maximum of 1,561 uh, different, different models. Um, so that's quite insane. And it's especially good for map makers. Um, especially now that you can have um, items in the head slots of entities as well. Um, it's just going to be amazing. Um, but we'll, I'll get into that in probably another video I showed in my Deku Baba's. Um, that was a good example of using that. So if you want um, a different model for each um, durability that the item takes, say for example you want a pixel of the wooden sword to to deplete um, every time you hit it, then you're going to need to specify in your um, damage value. Um, it'll be 59. Will be one divided by 59 uh, times by the um, value that you want. So if we just go into Google Chrome, one divided by 59 is this. So that will be the first um, damage value. Then we can just take this number and um, times it by oops, times it by two, and it will give us oops, it will give us this number. So this will be the um, second damage value, and ah, crap. You can just keep doing that. Um, times three. Yeah, I don't know if I want to copy that in. And you can paste that in. So this will now um, change the model each time it takes um, a single sort of hit of damage. Um, so you'd obviously do that for 59 or however many different variants you had. Um, so a good sort of thing to remember is one divided by how many models you have and then multiply by 
the sort of current model that you're on. Um, so now if I reload, you'll see that all of these models are now going to have the fully damaged um, variant except for this one here. Um, so if I now hit this zombie that is conveniently placed here, you'll see it takes one damage. If I hit again, it takes another damage. If I hit again, it takes another damage. So that's how you can do um, different models for each sort of hit rather than um, for sort of percentages. Um, but hopefully that's explained it well enough. Um, this tutorial, the, the fifth episode of Modeling Minecraft, was supposed to be um, showing you how to use Cubic Pro, but since that now has two versions, a 1.8 version and a 1.9 version, um, it might get a bit confusing for people. So I'm going to put that off for now. I'm probably going to talk a bit more about some of the new 1.9 features um, and how they've changed um, resource packs and show off some cool things with those. Um, but maybe maybe I'll show you how to do how to use Cubic Pro soon if enough people um, want me to do. It. Uh, so anyway, that's the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time. Bye for now.